What's going on pros? This is Mike with a super, super fucking dirty promotion video. I am in Kansas City, home of the fucking fastest man in tinting fucking history. The one, the only, Mr. John Wagner. I'm going to let him do his stuff because uh, somebody told the customer that his fucking car would be out, the whole fucking car would be out in 15 minutes. I don't know. I would never, I would never do that to my customers. I'll, I'll tell them it's an hour and a half. Take it or leave it. But this gentleman, he don't fuck around, man. You know what? I was going to bring a pouch. You know, one of those miss me jeans, you know, kind of cut them in a, uh, you know, Daisy Duke kind of thing and then put a belt on it because I know you like putting stuff in your pockets. So, uh, but I didn't. So, anyway, here he is. Um, I will do an interview with the man himself, Mr. John Wagner. And, uh, but I'm, you know, we, you know, you tenors want to see him fucking in action and stuff. And he's already done videos. This is the way that I met Mr. John Wagner, you know. I, you know, I'm a moderator of several tent groups and such, so my job is to look around for talent and stuff, and if I find them, I like to tag them and give them their props for being like super, you know, top of the line uh, people and such, and, well, I don't know, man, I just ran across this deal, and ever since I saw a fucking car done in 14 minutes, I've been, I've been meaning to come down here to Kansas City and touch the man's hand you know they're just so fucking fast how old are you mr wagner 28. how long you been doing this nine years. fuck man that ain't shit you know what i was doing in nine years i was still learning how to like not leave dirt in cars and shrink and shit <laughs> and you're here doing all the fucking cars in the fastest times in the world i don't think there's ever been any fucking tinner that has ever done cars that fast i've looked for him i haven't found him there's a gentleman named David Hokisma, there's Richie Latore, there's um, uh, the other, oh, Rob Ruska and stuff. They, all those guys are like 20 minute and above, which is still fucking fast. Even in my best fucking prime, when I was a young lion and such and thought I was a fucking badass, my time was around 45, 50 minutes in a car. And that's back in the day when we didn't heat shrink, we just stretched or did stripped or whatever, right? Now you guys, you know, uh, Hokizma, Richard Latore, uh, Rob Ruska, and that's all the people that I've seen. They normally do fucking cars in like um, 20 and some minutes, as they said. And then I saw this gentleman from fucking Kansas hiding out here in between the fucking tall grass. That's why I guess nobody ever saw him, you know, and he's doing cars in fucking 14 minutes. That is just fucking insane. So I said to myself, when I'm going to go to this tent off in Indianapolis, I'm going to go stop by. It's not really in my way, but I, dude, what best way to come bring these fucking videos, phenomenal shit, you know, than actually being at the shop. You know, a lot of people talk about, well, you know, uh, fast but dirty, fast but... I, I went to go see, you know what a tinter does, right? When the tinter sees another tinter, they don't want to see nothing. All they want to fucking see is their own other car, see how the fuck they tinted it. I saw his truck, it's very, very good. I don't know how fast he tinted it, but I'm looking at shit right now, and fuck, man. By the time most of us guys take a fucking shit, this guy's done with most of the car, seriously. So, let's go ahead and keep observing. I won't talk that much. I'm just kind of like fucking tickled pink, looking at fucking hysteria here, looking at a fucking tin job that, to John Wagner, this is just another fucking day at the office. It's not like I'm tinning fast. Or I'm, he says he gets bored if he goes slower, so I do believe him. And you can I see, do. yeah, no pouch, no nothing. Dude, I, I carry a fucking pouch full of fucking shit, man. Even a hair curler, chewing gum, and all kind of stuff. <laughs> you have nothing but whatever you got in your tool, that thing hanging there, and I don't know where your other tools are. I guess I'll see them in a little bit. And you already done all these four doors cut and shit. It's already been like in my... We're not timing John Wagner. I just wanted to show you. Uh, instead of people going to the internet and saying, Yeah, yeah, fucking I do that all day long. Well, you know what? I don't believe you. I don't believe you because if you don't post videos, then everything is fucking hearsay and smack and all that. We tenors love to talk smack. I love to talk smack, but I do videos to show what it is that I can and cannot do. And I cannot do a car in 30 minutes or 20 or even fucking 14 minutes this guy can we're showing it live in front of the tube here and um, I'm just fucking mesmerized you know 
I don't know what he's doing, but he'll do something. He does this on a daily basis, and you know what? This car is not a terribly difficult car, but still, most of the industry partners, you know, installers that we have, take about a typical, I don't know, some say they're gonna throw it under an hour, but let's be realistic, most of the people do it in about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes, that seems to be the industry standard of speed. Let me go over here, this guy's already over here when I'm over there. While this time we've been talking, <clears throat> that heat gun has been get on, uh, on and shit. There is a reason it's on. Mr. John Wagner says he does not like to fucking waste time waiting 10 fucking seconds for it to heat up. So he keeps it on there 24-7. Uh, yesterday they smacked out 13 cars, or he did by himself, so shit, man. Ugh, I have a team of installers in my team. All of them, all of us put together. You know, normally, you know, we have a pace and we tip 13 15 19 cars a day and this guy by himself is fucking smacking everything down man oh let me go to the back window check out the real life experiences of all the dog hair in the back seat on this one. Oh, let's see what's up going on with the back seat oh fuck man how did you put these tools real quick in here you you snuck them in here oh fuck <laughs> Yo. dog oh my god well We'll see how John Wagner defies dog hair shit and all that kind of stuff. We'll see it right now. He's working on his rear glass right now. Is that baby powder? Yes, sir. Man, everybody's got a way of doing stuff. And this is the Wagner way, the very fast way. How long you been in Kansas? Are you born here, Mr. Wagner? When you were seven? Yeah. Oh shit, that's still like all your life, man. Basically. So there's another gentleman that trained you, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Steve Newendorf. What's his name? Steve Newendorf. What? Steve Newendorf. Well, no, 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 but you're your partner in crime here, you're, uh, you're, your boss. Eric Martin has uh, come into the internet forums and I don't know if he said that he, uh, you know, has done some cars and is he as fast as you? That's my question. He's quick, for sure. He's the fastest tenor I've ever worked with. Wow, man. You know, you don't post a lot in the forums, Mr. John Wagner, because when I found you, you already have nine fucking years under your belt. Why don't you post more on on the Facebook shit. I don't have time, or I would. You I enjoy posting on there, I just never have time. With my wife and kids. So, so the gentleman, Eric Martin, is he showed you everything? Um, he, so I knew how to tent when I started here, but I probably took two hours in a car, an hour and a half at least. Okay. All right. I almost want to ask you who taught Eric how to tint. Um, I'm not sure who taught him to tint, actually. All right. I don't want to distract you from your work. I hope I'm not distracting you. All right, man. I do the double snap or whatever people are calling it. Yeah. Everybody has some terminology about what they want to call this or that. Well, anyway, like I said, uh, I found you 14 fucking minutes. You've been doing it nine years. Never seen you post. You said that your fucking phone, your inbox is full, and no. you just don't even have time to attend to it. No, I really don't. I feel bad half the time. Are there just like work or people that want to fucking talk yeah, to you or work. just fucking tenors or work, what? For sure. Work, just work. You know, for nine years on the job, you're fucking showing me some fucking moves that are supremely, supremely good and fancy. And I just want all the viewers, all the followers to look at this shit. 
because people want to know, well, how? Well, this is how, motherfucker. This is how. You just got to get on yeah. it. You know, get the fuck off of Facebook and do it and do it again and do it again. And you want to go to Facebook, don't go to Smack. Go to fucking learn about people's techniques and just fucking do it. I mean, I saw some cars in the parking lot. This gentleman's tinted and fuck, man. They're, as fast as he's going, people want to look for shit and want to look for, you know, some things to say on the internet. Bro, I saw the stuff and it's fucking high quality. And that's why I'm here because I knew that you guys were interested in perhaps seeing it live. He already put, you know, his 14 minute video, but still, man, I mean, this was just phenomenal. There's a Kia car. And so you believe me, I'm in Missouri. I thought when I came here, you know, uh, you know, this is Dorothy's land, you know, you're too young to remember Dorothy and those guys, the Tin Man and all them, Toto and shit. But uh, is, are they from Kansas City, Missouri, or from the actual fucking state of Kansas? I don't know. Kansas. I don't know, dude. I might, I might have fucked up on that post, but nah, it went cool. I actually cool. grew up on the Kansas side of Kansas City. Really? Yeah. And ended up on the Missouri side. Oh my god. So, your, your silver, Eric, you guys don't use two uh, bells or pouches or none of that shit? No, not really. Alright, well. Maybe I'll make you a camouflage fucking <laughs> pouch so that you won't see it and people won't see it. You won't know it's there. That's awesome. Right? I'm hoping I can camouflage all this hair. Well... <clears throat> All this dog hair and shit, you know, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's there, attached to the thing, and if it comes up, it comes up. I mean, that's my hand. What happened? There's dog hair all oh. over. <laughs> but that's part of tinning, I think, you know? Getting a clean install out of something. That's yeah. Still yeah. dirty. Don't you just love it when people post about, you know, cars with dog hairs and a lot of shit in the back seat and whatever oh i had to charge more for this motherfucker blah 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 no. around here 20 minutes 25 minutes hits the fuck out in the parking lot right. you know drying up and no excuses no bullshit man even if i was born again john wagner i'll tell you what if even i was fucking born again and seen you tint and stuff like that when i was nine years old i don't know man i don't think i can ever tint a fucking car in those 20 minutes or nothing like that like all oh, some of the greats do. That fucking quacker, dude. I was asking about well, Cali Roll. He. Good old Frankie. Just Frankie Frankie. And this guy's still going on. Be careful, I'll fucking burn my fucking calf or something. Casualties of being in a tin shop observing. Don't sweat it, we're not timing you, you know. I don't think my viewer is, you know, I, I think they know that you've done a car, but I want them to still see the whole shit live. Right. If you do it in 16 minutes, I'm not going to cry foul, bro. Don't worry about it. Hey, the 14 minute was a two-door. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get that straight right away, huh? Yep, get that one out of the way. Oh, fuck. Boom, boom, boom. Have you had lunch, Mr. Wagner? Um, I kind of brought a little bit of lunch. 
you don't like to go out because then cars come in and right. you know, oh, the tinner is out for lunch for one fucking hour and there you lose a customer or two. Mm -hmm. In your case, three of them if you do fucking three cars in an hour. And that's pretty sad, man. That's fucking loss of revenue right there. Ugh. At the same time that I'm trying to like make this video, I'm fucking looking, eyeballing all this window and there's not a single fucking finger anywhere. And I'm not blowing smoke up nobody's ass, it's just the way it is. It has no fingers, the man did his job with a fucking napkin and a fucking baby powder and his fucking talent and speed and there's that. And while I'm over here fucking drooling over his back window, he's already fucking around with this other window. And there it is, it'll be going. So you don't have a stool either, huh? No, I don't. You know, for a tall guy, I'd probably be using a stool by now, but now, right? I feel like my back is telling me I'll end up, end up eventually using one. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, when you're going that fast, I think uh, all the extra tools and shit get in the way. What's that? When you're going as fast as you are, all these extra oh, shits okay. get in the way, you know? You know, for a very fucking fast install, that is a super nice, nice little, nice, nice edge, man. Let me get away from that. It's still on. Motherfucker's burning me. Don't worry, don't worry. You found I just, that heat gun? Nah, I just, I found it. Here you have another one ready over there, fuck. Oh, I'm talking about a man being ready. I'll say it again, you know, for a very fast install, that is a very nice fucking tight edge at the top. Fucking A, man. Oh, the fucking weight of the edge. Really nice, man. New blades on. Huh? New blades on. Blade? Yep. All right, all right. You're going to waste seven seconds, bro. Uh, yeah. Shit. You know that blade happens to be your square blade, your prep blade, your cutting blade, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. yep. Especially on an older vehicle like this, I'm definitely going to blade them to make sure, you know. Of course, absolutely.
He's all the way in. No fucking around. All the way to the top. Fuck. You're a perfect candidate for a dirty door guard, you know that. <laughs> I would be for sure. This one's going to get a little more water than usual because of all the hair. Yeah. yeah, all the dog hair. I hear you, man. Got mm -hmm. to flush that motherfucker out. All that dog hair. If you guys blink, you just missed those seven fucking steps to doing one window. There they are. And that's all she wrote, Felicia. Not the Felicia from Wisconsin. <laughs> the Tint Queen Grunau from Wisconsin. I'm it. Fuck. Let's follow the quacker. Where are the quack noises at? There is John Wagner. Fucking hell. Ground road. Damn, bro. Yeah. Water control or a lot of water and control all that dirt. Yeah. You know, I like, kind of feel bad. It looks like I just sit on the water. Some part of the This is one of them. You know, me, maybe other people, installers, after they do all their fucking cars, I don't know, godly, insanely amount of cars you guys do here, everybody goes, have the fucking beer, shoot the shit, do some other stuff. What does John Wagner do right after work? I got to some more. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, man. I love tinning, but I don't love it that fucking much. But you know what? I'm going to tell you that the only advice that I can give you is that get it while there, there is something to get. Yep. And you know, uh, in our super saturated market of window film applicators, window film manufacturers, distributors, you know, there's less and less for everyone, but you said you're fucking booked out till October and shit. Yes? John? What's that? You're booked out till October or something. Yep, yeah. And, 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 son of a bitch. You know, I was, I was saying something, and you were like super concentrated on your window. Regardless if I'm here or not, your your work is still your work. Right. You're doing your stuff, and you're concentrating. Absolutely. Because every job has to go out the same way: high quality, high quality, and more high quality. Yep. How cold does it get out here? Like. Um. So this last winter was a lot worse than normal. Really. Yeah, we had snow on the ground for probably 
probably a month, which normally we only get probably an inch of snow, you know? But how cold? Tw minus 20 or? No. Uh, Not that bad? No, it was probably like zero or negative <laughs> one. It's still too cold. Fucking cold, yes. Out there, you know, if we get into like below 30, we're, we're like, man, it's we're dying over there, but Right. Where it's over there 110, 112 degrees and 105 on a daily basis. 30 yeah. degrees or lower is real cold for us. But you guys, it's just another day in the park. This you work you work in winter here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And you put your heater on or not, or I don't know. I've seen oh, you in yeah, a fucking sure. muscle shirt doing tinting in the winter. So I guess either you're used to the cold weather or, or you have a heater on here, huh? Oh, we got a heater for sure. Oh, yeah. my God. I love the fact, yeah, that's the first thing I noticed, like, man, you guys, you know, people tell me that, you know, uh, wind film installers last a lot longer, they're comfortable, more productive in a mm -hmm. nice controlled environment, and well, uh, I bought a big old fucking fan, but I'd, I'd probably just give it to my fucking cats, I might <laughs> just have to pull the trigger and buy me a real AC. fucking AC, yeah, man, it is what it is, you know, I mean, we're not getting any younger. Every time. Yeah, every So my fucking, you know, sweep removal bullshit videos, they're worthless to you. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I've only single stayed in one vehicle, and it was like a little uh, Japanese mini truck, something like, kind of like a side-by-side thing. Uh-huh. And it was the guy wanted chrome, so I knew there couldn't be a speck of dust in it, you know what I mean? Or it'll just show up a mile away. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I went to go see some of the work in the parking lot. It's just, it's really good, man. I mean, I've, I've seen some 20-minute jobs that are fucking horrible. I've seen some one-and-a-half-hour jobs that are fucking horrible. But your jobs were, like, really, really nice. Well, if it will be bad, I'll let my followers know that you're the fastest, dirtiest tinner in the world. But that's just not the case, man. I love what I'm looking at, and... It's real nice and clean. You had a great teacher. You had, I think you, you said you had two trainers, right? The, right. the very first one, his yeah, name? The very first one was Steve. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. With Eric, how long have you been uh, doing this uh, this style of tinning with Eric? Um, almost seven years. Okay, well that's... Yep. It really reflects in uh, in what I'm looking at. And this car is pretty much fucking done, right? Almost. I'm going to go over it, you know. Of course. Absolutely. Not going to be too crazy with the wipe down, being that it'll probably ruin my towel if I do. Okay. Oh, with the dog hair and shit, right? Exactly. And the excess amount of dirt it had on the inside that I saw. End up having the charger for a detail. Oh, shit. <laughs> you like being on videos? Yeah. He's been eyeballing you all this time, waiting for you. He says, man, you already took two minutes too long, dude. For sure. Who's this guy talking to? He's just wasting your time here. You know that lady that's waiting in the in the front for this car? She's like, she's she's she's, she's still going to Instagram messages, and you're already done with the car. Yeah. Okay, now the heat then comes out. It's been there for like an hour on, uh, and I'm just bullshitting. It's uh, been on for, I don't know 20 minutes or so. The whole 29 minutes has been on. For all the guys, followers around the globe that want to know how, you just saw it, watch this video over and over and over again and look at the techniques, look at the fluidity of what's going on with efficiency and all that kind of stuff. I will myself, you know, I'm looking but I'm actually just uh, more recording and kind of concentrating on what I asked Mr. Wagner uh, about, you know, his stuff, his career, doing this and for all the people that you know, I'm just a fucking tuner or rah, 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 rah. what do you do for a living? Oh, I put fucking black film on cars. 
this profession makes a lot of money. Mr. Wagner, you're 28, you said? And you have a superbly big fucking ass house already. Beautiful fucking family, wife, kiddo, nice, super nice truck, and yeah, you're... Yeah, I mean, and then after you you are done with all the cars that are here, you still go out there and make some coin in your home, right? Yeah. Man, man. Like I said, this is, uh, if you want it, you can get it. Whatever profession you guys are doing or the guy that, oh, how do I get more business? Well, become efficient like this instead of taking three hours for a car. You know, look at all these steps. That's why I'm here in Kansas to meet the world's fastest tenor. Not Mr. Hokima, is not uh, the other people. If there is somebody that documented an installation that is less than 14 minutes on a two-door car, I would like to see it. The world would like to see it. And that's all what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to go ahead and end it because it's already been uh, uh, half an hour. And um, I guess if you have any comments, drop them in. Uh, Mr. John Wagner, I hereby anoint you Knight John Wagner. So now you're the man, bro. People are going to have to call you Sir now. Sir John Wagner. No more John Wagner. Much respects, my man. Much respects. Guys, have a great day.